Hello guys, Tivik here, and welcome back to the jungle here. Terraria 1.2, and we have found the jungle. Oh, piranhas, they look angry. But they're dead now. Ooh, nifty little waterfall. I like the waterfalls now. Um... Okay, this is probably not a good idea. I can't see a thing. Okay, so this seems to go down. Let's carefully explore our way down here. Hmm. It's too dark. Oh, I'm draining the lake into something. That was not intended. But I better get up there to get some air. Ooh. Okay, so... Seems to be a very large cave area down there. Because it keeps draining. Don't happen to have any... No. No ways to see in the dark. Oh, look. I actually drained a big part of the lake down here. And it's still draining. Okay, so this has to be a very big area down here. Climbing claws? Hey, what is that? Allows the ability to slide down walls. Improved ability if combined with shoe spikes. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. I have to, like... Okay, I don't know. Um. Okay, so... Oh, piranha! And a chest. Glow sticks. I can use that. Um, that's very good. Very good indeed. Getting messages out of window here. I hope the sound breaking doesn't doesn't show so much um, the recording. I don't think the recording actually catches when I switch window, but I'm gonna try to avoid it for your sake. Okay, so lots of bats. Oh, okay, so that's how you slide down walls. Funky. I like this area. Although it looks very dangerous. I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can climb using these. Um, let me just kill that bat and see. Yep, I can. So I can jump up against something and then jump again. That's very good. Okay, jungle tree under the ground. That's uh, odd. Okay. Mahotni. Okay. Interesting, another kind of tr wood. That's very nice. Could be useful for nice decorations and stuff. Um, some glow sticks out so I can see what I'm doing here. It's a bit tricky to uh, navigate these watery tunnels without drowning, but that should do. Oh, it's iron. Perfect. I should have a Spelunker's Potion here. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem like this goes any further down, so... I'm gonna go back up again and explore up top in the jungle. Nice waterfalls. Looking good. Oh, that's a funky plant. Hope it's not something that will eat me. 
Okay, so this is another kind of wood all over the place, so that's very nice. Um, don't seem to be... Oh, Eater of Souls. Does that mean I have corruption nearby as well? Corruption and jungle could be painful. That's just a normal plant, I think. Yep. Okay, so the jungle is actually on the border of a uh, corrupted area. Um, how deep is this? <laughs> yeah, let's not go down there. Um, not really ready for corruption yet. Though I could use some of the stuff that I get down in the shadow orbs, but mm, not quite yet. So, I want to keep digging down here. Um, is that an open area? Maybe. Let's see. Getting mud, and a lot of it. I'll have to take a look and see if there's anything I can do with the mud blocks later. Because it would be nice to like make bricks or something. Maybe you can. Hmm. Let's see. Seems to be a open area down here. Okay, now I start to recognize jungle with the spiky thorns and everything. Ooh, gold chest. Flare gun. No knockback. Okay, let's uh, just loot all and see what that does. A flare gun. Do you shoot? What ammo do you have? It's torches. It doesn't actually say. I wonder. Flare. Okay, so it's a standard flare. Can I shoot into the water? Yes. Very nice. That could be useful. Wonder if I can make flares somehow. Um, let's uh, this up. Oh, you actually use the flare gun. You use the flare gun if you want to use uh, some form of light when you're underwater as well. Nice. How long would the flare sit though? They do sit for quite some time. Huh. Quite nice actually. Um, there seems to be something over there, so let's go in this direction. Exploring all the new stuff that you can get. Flares is actually kind of nice. Ooh, silver. I need lots of that. But I'm curious how long they actually do last, because it's still lasting an awful long time. Which is good, I suppose, but... If you can't remove them yourself... This it looked a bit odd, but... Oh well. I can live with that. Well, it seems to be uh, an open area. Yes, it is. Not very big, though. Hmm. I guess I continue, then. I do have plans to just start digging from... I think I'll make a path like straight over to the jungle area because I will sooner or later need to be going to the jungle on a more frequent basis and start uh, gathering the jungle specific materials down a little bit deeper uh, and fighting the bees and getting all these cool stuff. Oh. Seems to be water here, that's not good. Can we get around that somehow? So with this climbing clause, you can actually... Say you're falling down a very long uh, mining shaft like this, and then you just smack your 
climbing close into the... Ooh, gold chest. Into the wall. Let's try this. So I'm falling, and I can just break and slowly fall the last part. That's very nice. Okay, um, some rope. Red slime, blue slime. Ah, oh, come on. Just die. Very curious what's in this chest. Gold chest usually contains some good stuff. Another enchanted boomerang. And another angel statue. Wonder if they have gotten any use yet. Don't think so. <laughs> oh, there's another chest down there. Oh, and I just put up six torches. There we go. Oh, piranha in the water. Another. Oh, look at that. A godly enchanted. Well, bye bye. Strong, and uh, I also have an uh, enchanted standard one. But this one. Oh, let's not die. And let's just loot all. Very nice. Having that boomerang will be very nice for the first bosses. Especially if it's that good. I mean, with that it does... 15 damage and has some really nice critical strike chance. I mean, 5% extra. Extremely strong knockback. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um. Oh. I would like to have one that is faster, though. So you can kind of like climb up like so. Okay, so it's pretty fast now actually. Very nice. Okay, so I was going around this whole thing here. Let's just fall down in a safe and controlled way. It's all part of some cavey area. Oh, it's up there as well. Oh, doesn't look like... We can go there after I've taken this area here. I think. Just dig down here and hopefully we'll meet a cave or something. So we can drain this water out. Oh, nice. With that, this one is falling down with me. Okay, so I need to really... Oh, dear lord. I'm gonna drown. <sighs> that was close. I think I saw one of these bitey plants. Yep, it's a snatcher. They still hurt. Okay. Uh, so we are at the right place to get some more stuff. Um, hopefully I can pick up some of these uh, things that I need for the vine... Uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, the ivy whip. And I should be able to get there. I am not digging safe though. Um, I should really have uh, set up ropes and everything, but I can go up and do that if I need to. Or kind of like make the rope go up. Fill it all the way up above me. Okay. Hmm. And we should.
should set up some torches on the way as well. Just climb. Oh. Okay. So if I can put some torches there. And I should really put down the rope now. Like this. Yep. You can jump off the rope and I'm not gonna fall off it. I can just pull myself down though. Completely safe. Right, so I think I'm gonna spend some time digging down here and see what I can find. And if I find something interesting, I will put that in the recording, but that will be for the next episode, because we are out of time here. So I see you next time. Take care guys. Bye-bye.